Let's say it's about, oh, I don't know, 700 years ago, your Viking explorer out on your long ship lost at sea. The sky is overcast with thick gray clouds and you can't see the sun at all. And the sun is what helps you navigate to find your bearings. So what is any good Viking gonna do? What if I told you a mineral the size of your palm could help you find that sun hidden behind the clouds and get you back on track? What if I told you all that you needed was a compass stone? There's a pretty firm consensus nowadays that the seemingly mythical compass stone, also known as the Viking compass, is actually a very clear kind of calcite. It was also called a sunstone, but that's a kind of feldspar. We're talking about something entirely different. But don't worry, feldspar fans, we'll make a video about that soon enough. So back to calcite. Calcite is one of the most abundant minerals on Earth. You've probably seen it countless times without even really noticing it. It's found in granite and limestone veins and is sometimes used along with other rocks to build up gravel driveways and roads. Calcite has a really poor toughness. That means it's prone to chipping and breakage. On the most scale of hardness, a one to 10 rating system of how hard a mineral is, with one being talc and 10 being a diamond, calcite clocks in around a not terribly rock solid score of three. That means you can easily scratch a calcite sample with a coin. So you can imagine that calcite isn't commonly faceted into gemstones, but there's one highly noticeable property of calcite that has made it a very important mineral, double refraction. You can see here that a transparent calcite crystal when placed over printed material exhibits doubling. This is called birefringence, and it's due to the polarization of light. The sun's rays hit the calcite and those rays will take two different paths resulting in the doubling of images. The thinking is early Viking navigators with a lot of experience and an extremely good eye could examine an object through the calcite crystal and rotate it until the two images appeared to be of equal intensity, thus alerting the navigator to the direction of the sun. It's even believed that Vikings could find the sun when it was below the horizon, which can happen when you're sailing above the Arctic Circle. Now, there's one particular kind of calcite that may be used for this purpose. It's actually called Iceland spar. And as you probably guessed, it's from Iceland and it's fairly common. Iceland spar has no impurities, but there are masses of it that weigh many, many tons. It's an incredibly handy learning tool for discussing light and how light works. In fact, calcite helped early European scientists understand what light even is. Dutch mathematician and scientist Christian Huygens studied calcite. He also invented the pendulum clock and discovered one of Saturn's moons too. Another scientist who studied light with the help of Iceland spar was Sir Isaac Newton. Basically, all scientists of that era were studying everything they could, and research about the properties of calcite helped advance the field of mineralogy in general. There are, of course, instances of gem-quality calcite, and it looks quite different from the clear sunstone. There are white, gray, yellow, pink, and even green calcite gems, but even today, it's still used more for practical reasons rather than decorative. Optical calcite today is extremely clear clean and colorless. It's actually commonly used as a component of lasers and polarizing microscopes. And as we mentioned, gravel driveways. Scientists are still using the properties of calcite to explore the natural world, and recent experiments with calcite have led to some pretty interesting ideas about how the currently mythical invisibility cloak might actually work in reality. Whoa! Using those properties of polarization and double refraction, recent experiments with calcite have proved that it might be possible in very specific conditions from one specific direction. So right now the cloaking only works in a very controlled lab setting, but hey, it's only been a couple hundred years since we figured out what light actually is. I think that science will get there eventually. Have you ever depended on calcite to help you navigate while at sea? I haven't, but hey, if you have, tell us all about your Viking adventures in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about calcite and other cool minerals, check out the links in the description. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.